Welcome to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation problem. It is x cube over x plus 1 plus 2 times x minus 1 over x plus 1 whole square equal to x over x plus 1. x belongs to real numbers. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. So let's get started by writing method number 1 and it is method of factorization and algebraic identities and then I will be writing domain. Denominator cannot be 0, so x cannot be negative 1. So I can multiply both sides with x plus 1 whole square. Then our equation will be denominator free. So let me write here x plus 1 whole square. This side also x plus 1 whole square. Let's expand. So I will be writing x cube times x plus 1 plus 2 times x minus 1 equal to x times x plus 1. Take all the term to one side. I will be writing x cube x plus 1 minus x x plus 1 plus 2 times x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will expand x power 4 plus x cube minus x square minus x plus 2x minus 2 equal to 0. Now we can write here plus x only. So let us write our quartic equation as x power 4 plus x cube minus x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. This is one quartic equation. So four solution will come out. Let's verify how many are real. I will use method of factorization. So I am writing this minus 2 as minus 1 and minus 1. So it will become x power 4 minus 1. Rest as it is x cube minus x square plus x and then minus 1. Now I will use algebraic identity a square minus b square. So x power 4 can be written as x square whole square minus 1 whole square and plus if I will take x square common in bracket I will be writing x minus 1. 1 common in bracket I will be writing x minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can write x square plus 1 x square minus 1. Let me write here x square plus 1 x square minus 1 plus x square x minus 1. Then we will be having plus 1 x minus 1 equal to 0. Again we can use the difference of two squares identity. So I will write x square plus 1 x plus 1 x minus 1. This is our first term after applying difference of squares. Now I will write x square x minus 1 plus 1 x minus 1. Now you can see everywhere we are having x minus 1 term. So I will take x minus 1 overall common. So in bracket it would be left x square times x, x cube, x square times 1, x square. 1 times x, x, 1 times 1, 1. Now from second term it is only x square. From last term it is only 1. Now I can write x minus 1 in bracket x cube. Then we are having 2x square. Then we are having x. Then plus 2 equal to 0. Now from first two term I can take x square common. So let me write x minus 1 as it is. Here we can take x square common, x plus 2, 1 common, x plus 2 equal to 0. x plus 2 is again common. So I will be writing x minus 1 times x plus 2 times x square plus 1 equal to 0. So f dot g dot h equal to 0. That means x minus 1 will be 0. So from here we can get x is equal to 1 real solution. 
from second bracket i can write x plus 2 equal to 0 so from here we will be having x is equal to minus 2 again real solution from third bracket we can write x square is equal to minus 1 or i square the square cannot be negative so x will be plus minus i which we will reject as it is complex solution so only two real solutions are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to minus 2 now let us consider the conventional method method number 2 I will write method 2 and I will write our quartic equation after simplification. So that equation was x power 4 plus x cube minus x square plus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now I will use simply synthetic division method. So if I will simply add all the coefficient of the equation see what will come out 1 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 just simply by putting x equal to 1 see what will come out 3 minus 3 so yes it is making our equation 0 so i will call x equal to 1 base solution now i will write all the coefficients of quartic equation let me write here 1 1 minus 1 1 minus 2 then i will put one line leading term or coefficient as it is 1 now i will take product with base solution so 1 times 1 1 2 1 times 2 2 1 1 times 1 1 2 1 times 2 2 0 here we are having coefficients for cubic equation so we can write cubic equation as x cube plus 2x square plus x plus 2 equal to 0. Now I will put rational root theorem or I can simply put x is equal to minus 2. If I will apply rational root theorem then I will have eligible factors of constant term. It is plus minus 1 and plus minus 2 and see the leading coefficient we are having only plus minus 1. So after putting plus 1 minus 1 then you will have plus 2 after that minus 2 is also there. So if I will put x is equal to minus 2 see it will become minus 8 then it will become minus 2 square is 4 times 2 so plus 8 then I will be writing minus 2 plus 2 is it 0 yes minus 2 plus 2 plus 8 minus 8 over so x is equal to minus 2 is our base solution for this cubic equation. So let me write all the coefficient of this cubic equation 1, 2, 1, 2. So let me write here x is equal to minus 2 and coefficients 1, 2, 1, 2. Now I will put one line over there leading term or coefficient as it is 1 then I will be writing minus 2 this product with base solution minus 2 times 1 minus 2 0 minus 2 times 0 0 1 minus 2 times 1 minus 2 0 so here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation so let me write here x square 0 x and then constant 1 equal to 0 so from here I can write it is i square equal to minus 1 equal to x square is equal to i square. Now consider square root both sides. x will come out plus minus i. And this solution we will reject as we have to calculate the real solution. So ultimate solutions are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 2. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video friends. Good luck and take care of yourself.